What is up good people? Welcome to the current crunch. The police had launched a manhunt for Lamu Senator Anwar Loidaptip who flee the scene after a shooting incident that happened on Saturday night, October 23rd, at Kanu grounds in Nan Yuki town. This unfortunate event left Joy Markenna a 32-year-old lady who he is said to have been with nursing gunshot injuries after a quarrel erupted between him and her. Joy was shot on her right leg, just above her ankle. Report reaching us is the lady is in stable condition after she was rushed to non-Yuki teaching and referral hospital. According to the police, they received a tip off from the public who notified non-Yuki police station of a shooting incident at 2 in the morning. Anwar has since spoken stating that it was all in self-defense after two women and a man confronted him. I am at a hospital for some checkup and will speak on the matter later, but the truth is that I was attacked by a knife-wielding gang last night, he said. Anwar also mentioned he had also been injured in the incident and was being treated at a Nairobi hospital. He did not however disclose which. This is unfortunate as Anwar has been linked to other violent episodes before. Salmu Bubi who dated Anwar after he left his first wife cited physical abuse as one reason why she also left him. Anwar would later date Samu's friend Aida Bambi. They are currently still together amid rumors he is still violent and abusive to her. Aida is yet to confirm these rumors. Back when Anwar was dating Samu he also got into an altercation with some men in a Kasarani club which left him hospitalized. Very unfortunate but police are looking into the events that happened on Saturday. Do you believe that maybe Anwar's story is true? Please share your views below. I will see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to leave a like. Uh, after all, when I to fiance katika social media i had to react kwa sababu unashangaa mtu ambaye unatukana mke wangu unatukana na familia yangu kwa mambo ambayo wewe unalazimisha una